the best way to describe it is that we're accidental farmers. The catalyst was me at about 30 years old. Having finished having kids, I decided to take horseback riding lessons. We ended up here several years after that with this foreclosure fixer-upper and decided we were going to learn how to be better stewards of the land. My name is Keisha Cameron. I am the shepherdess, cultivator, seed keeper, vision caster for our farm here at High Hog. We were subdivision people. We were, you know, de definitely living in a way that was disconnected from the land and in, in our environment. It was a more consumer you run to Home Depot, you get what you need kind of approach. And this has been an incredible journey in just learning how to be in relationship with our land and our environment. We wanted to grow a lot of things, but then we started just reducing it down to what we actually like to eat. And then whatever we have in abundance, we, we sell off farm. A lot of it has been learning as we go, learning how to properly take care of the land, reconnect with the land, and then how do we probably give back to the community around us? Regenerative farming is a holistic management approach to your or to a ecosystem, which focuses on sequestering carbon in the soil. And the science proves that the best ways to sequester carbon is not to exploit your resources, but to actually protect our sheep, our goats, and then at times our chickens and even our rabbits will move through those um, pastured areas. The animal's pattern of moving will actually help build the soil and become less bacterial in its composition and more fungal like you would find across a forest floor. So mom and I are going to do a little bit of grooming. Part of the regenerative agriculture has rightfully focused so much on our food systems. People have lost track of where our textiles come from. I raise French Angoras, so they release their fiber naturally, so I can harvest that wool from them and use it for creating yarn and other nice warm textiles. And I'm doing an experimental bed of flax and nettles because I have the fascination with linen. You guys aren't supposed to squeeze out through the fence. The best way to approach some of the problems we have with our food system is through education, through advocacy, and through access. There's only 1.3% of black farmers in our country, and I feel a certain level of responsibility being able to say that this, is, this lifestyle is a healing journey, it is a blessing, but there's also a, a certain responsibility that I have to share this with others so that they can be inspired to do their work. But if we want it to make sure that the next generation has the food and the healthy environment to produce that food, we have to start now.